Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to discuss an important topic which is related to PC1 for buildings and infrastructure projects. Okay. Recently, uh, Federal Public Service Commission of Pakistan has announced uh, an exam for MES department, Military Engineering Services, and they are going to conduct an exam, multiple choice question based exam, and they have included a topic uh, named SPC1 for buildings and infrastructure projects and the students who have applied and the, or the applicants who have applied for their exam are going to get questions from this topic to write so a few of the guys on YouTube have asked me to make a video on this topic and discuss the important points what kind of questions they can get in the exam related to this topic so in today's video I am going to share some important points related to PC1 so let's start with the abbreviation what does PC1 means what actually PC means right The first and most important point you must know is that what does PC means? The first point you need to know is PC. PC stands for project cycle. Okay. And as we know that if there is any project each and every project completes in various cycles right there is not only one cycle to complete any project every project is uh, composed of or uh, it has at least five cycles to complete a project so after that let me tell you the phases of a project what can be the phases of a project for any building or infrastructure uh, construction project we are supposed to complete that project within five phases what are those five phases you need to remember these phases too the first one is planning obviously for any project the first thing you need to do is to do planning and the second is survey as well as you need to check out the flexibility of the project in second phase in third phase third phase is the progress of your project progress of the project and the fourth phase is completion of your project completion of project and the fifth and last phase is evaluation of the project got it one two three four five there are five phases to complete a project and these this is our phase one planning this is our phase two this is phase 3 progress and then completion of the project is phase 4 this is our phase 5 or you can call it cycle this is 
project cycle one that's why we call them this is known as your planning phase is known as PC one and surveying as well as flexibility phase is known as PC two project cycle two and your uh, the progress of the project during which you are doing the construction from start to the end that is your PC three and then when your com uh, project completes then you need to prepare PC four PC four is after the completion of the project and last phase is PC 5 which is evaluation of the project got it so these are five phases you need to remember maybe you can get questions based on these phases or you can be asked that uh, what is the project cycle or what is PC 3 what we do actually in PC3 either we do planning or we do surveying or uh, completion of the project or progress of the project you will choose progress of the project because we know that PC3 is the progress of the project and PC4 is completion of the project and PC5 is evaluation of your project either it is building project or infrastructure project got it so we have a phrase to remember these phases let me share that uh, phrase so it will help you to remember uh, this these phases of the project cycle the phrase is that please sorry please serve fried potatoes please serve fried potato chips equally got it actually it's a bit funny but it is going to help you out to remember these phases see please serve fried potato chips equally that means that the first is p right first you need to check out the first alphabet of each word so the first phase is p right this is our first phase served and fries served fries two potatoes three chips is four equally is five so you need to remember this please serve fries potato chips equally so the first one is please right please start with p p means planning got it serve fried s is for survey and f is for flexibility this represents survey and flexibility potato p p will represent the progress here p will represent progress of the project and c will represent completion completion of your project and equally e represents evaluation evaluation of the project got it so that's it these were the five phases okay you can get question from this too the other important point we need to uh, discuss is that 
let's define PC1. Maybe you can get the definition. PC1 is known as a planning tool. Okay, it is a planning tool. For what? For the development and execution sorry execution of any project in in the government departments right in the government departments okay so in case of project management in in project management construction project management project cycle 1 there is pc1 right pc1 there is pc1 in project management project cycle 1 is also the compound word for which PC1 is used okay similarly as all all of we have discussed previously that uh, the project has different stages right therefore pc2 is for pre-start phase of feasibility uh, stage and pc3 is the progress pc4 is the completion of your project and pc5 is evaluation stage of the project so these were some important points let's move further and one more thing you can uh, you can also abbreviate pc pc1 as planning commission in some cases pc means pc in some cases you can call it planning c o double m i double s i o and planning condition right and for pc1 you will get a form there is a form for pc1 and there are around uh, I guess 15 to 17 points you need to fill those all points in that form for PC1 okay <coughs> and PC1 as I said that you can call it planning commission form to, which is a project document describing project needs is its description its justification location its duration and total cost of the project and tangible and non-tangible benefits associated with your project okay so there is a form for pc1 which is uh, provided by the planning commission let me share that form too maybe you will get some questions from uh, that form let me see if I got that here yeah. I have an example of a project which was established uh, which was a police, police station which was established in Islamabad let me share that okay there it is this is an example of a planning commission form 
project cycle 1 PC1 form this is known as PC1 form and it includes 1 2 3 4 till 15 points you need to fill up all these points for your project in the first phase which is known as PC1 in the PC1 form the first thing you need to write down is the name of the project right and then Second thing is location of the project, then the authority responsible for it includes sponsors who are executing the work or project who are uh, responsible for the operation and maintenance of the project and which is the concerned federal ministry for the project. Okay. The fourth thing is the uh, planning provision. In planning provision you will get three different uh, sub parts you need to see whichever among these three points which is most closest to you if the project is included in the current five year plan then you need to mention here if not included in the current plan then you need to explain it here or mention it here if the pro project is proposed to the um, to be financed but of block provision for a program indicate then you need to mention it here then you need in this uh, planning uh, plan provision you need to also mention the amount proposed for the project or if the amount is already committed then you need to mention it here and balance available you need to mention here and provision in the current year PSDP or ADP the amount you need to mention here the fifth thing you need to mention is the project objective. What are the main objectives of the project? Okay. Like in this case, they are saying that the project uh, envisages or for the construction of accommodation of anti riot force at Islamabad. This is the main objective of this project. If your project is a revised project, then you need to mention the objective in this box the next thing you need to do is write down the description of your project and you have to justify your project in this phase okay why you are going to construct this project what is the importance so you need to justify your project in seventh point in this uh, PC1 form you need to mention the capital cost estimate uh, component wise year wise physical activities you have to mention component wise and year wise activities in this phase like, like you can see in, uh, in this portion for the project mentioned above it is a two year project and they have mentioned each and every item here and divided into two years right in the first year they are going to do the civil and electrical mechanical work worth 100 million and the second year they are going to do 200 mil million rupees worth work for the items civil and civil and electrical mechanical works and the eighth point you need to mention is annual operating cost and then demand and supply analysis tenth is financial plan and mode of finance in which you will include the equity debt grants along with the sources and weighted cost of capital and in eleventh part you need to uh, mention the project benefits and analysis which will include finance financial environmental and project analysis and then in 12th part you need to mention the implementation and schedule of the project when it is going to start and what is the tentative date to start and completion period subject availability of the fund so what is going to be the completion date of the project
Then in 13th part you need to mention the management structure and manpower requirement. What is going to be the requirement of the manpower and what will be the management structure for the project. And in 14th and 15th part, in 14th part you need to mention the additional project, decision requirement, uh, indicate additional projects, decision required to optimize the investment being undertaken on the project and then certified you need to certify that the project proposal has been prepared on the basis of instruction provided by the planning commission for the preparation of pc1 for social sector project okay industrial sector projects you you will have a bit different form pc1 form for social sector projects you will have a uh, different pc1 form okay so you need to remember this too at the end you will uh, do the signatures of those who have prepared the pc1 and those who have checked the pc1 and then the chief engineer of that department will forward that pc1 to the ministry okay for approval so these are the uh, important components of PC1 form maybe you can get multiple choice questions like it has been prepared by the executive engineers checked by uh, superintendent engineer and forwarded by chief engineer and it will be approved by government of Pakistan the concerned ministry okay secretary interior government of Pakistan and the other important point is you need to remember these 15 steps in this PC1 form. Okay. So that's it. These were few important points you need to remember. Maybe you can get multiple choice questions from these points. And other than that, what I suggest you for this topic is that you must go through the subject of uh, construction project management okay because it is uh, this topic is related to construction project management so i suggest you Go and study the subject of CPM, that is construction project management. Okay, and in that, the most important topics are your CPM critical path method and part these two are important topics other than that you need to also study in detail study in detail the phases of a phases of project cycle of any construction project got it so that's it i hope uh, this video will be helpful for you guys for the upcoming exam of fpsc let's wind up here all the best wishes see you guys in next video with some other topic Till then, goodbye.